Hello, Tom. Lish, Hello. and welcome. Hello, Hello. Tom, where were you born? I was born in Croatia. Yeah? Yeah. And uh, your parents? My parents are uh, also Slovenian uh, origin. Yeah, Where, whereabouts? All uh, in uh, Spanovica. Uh huh. Actually, um, to go back to the beginning, I mean, uh, uh, Slovenians they migrate to uh, Slavonia because of uh, job, because of jobs and uh, properties and so on. And, um, uh, my parents they come uh, there and settle in uh, Slavonia. That was during the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Okay. And the uh, language stay uh, Slovenian in the house, and uh, I suppose we. We call ourselves Slovenians all the time. Yeah, yeah. Are there other people in your family that paint? Uh, yeah, my uh, younger brother, he's a professional artist, Albert Lesh. And um, in uh, through the mother side, a lot of them they are painters. Yeah. Uh, uh, looks like he's in the family, uh, mother side. The mother is, uh, my mother is Oblak, from Oblaks. That, that's her surname? Surname, yeah. Okay. And when did you uh, first come to Australia? Uh, 1961. Uh, 1963, sorry. 1963. Yeah. And what was your reason for coming up to Australia? Oh, it was mainly. Um, mainly uh, political, I would say. Yeah, okay. At what age did you first begin painting? Painting? Oh, I was very... Uh, actually, I began painting when I was 14. Right. Yeah. And what inspired yeah. you to do that? Uh, actually, I, in a school, in a, uh, in a school I was the always best uh, drawer, drawing. And I used to help other kids, uh, they always they asked me, uh, Tom, can you uh, draw that for me and so on. Yes. But uh, how, how I find out a friend of mine, uh, he was uh, uh, going to the art classes in the Subotica, uh -huh. to the art classes. And uh, one evening, uh, I went with him. Obviously, his father and mother, they were uh, richer than mine, and they could afford to buy uh, for his uh, uh, extra education. Like, And I went uh, that night uh, to the... Uh, art class, there was more, more people there, and uh, uh, the teacher, he told me, what are you doing? I say, nothing. He says, it's not such a thing that doing nothing. He is a piece of paper yeah. and draw, and it was a life model. We, uh, everybody was drawing that life model portrait. Yes. And I drew that uh, person, yes. and he says, who is teaching you? I say, nobody. He says, impossible. <laughs> and that's how he started. Oh, okay. yeah. So how long have you been an artist? Since 14? Oh, since 14, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And uh, in the summer, I won one major prize. Yeah. Okay. When I was yeah, very young, yeah. yeah, yeah. Does your Slovenian background influence you in some way in painting? Uh, uh, no, I wouldn't say so, no. No, no, it's only through the family, like, you know, because uh, uh, Oblaks, uh, yeah. it must be in the, in the family. Yeah, because DNA. Uh, DNA, yeah, because uh, uh, my, from uh, uh, my auntie's uh, grandson, he's a professional painter, in, uh, he lives in Canada. Yes. And uh, uh, one, uh, my, from my, my auntie's daughter, she lives in Sydney, she paints uh, and so, uh, and we didn't know actually that each of us paints. Oh, okay. Yeah, and, uh, uh, but it uh, so comes naturally, yeah. And my brother, he's very good, he's one of the uh, top artists in uh, uh, Yugoslavia, ex-Yugoslavia or um, Serbia now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, he lives in the Novi Sad. Okay. Uh, he's portraitist. Where did you uh, study to become an artist? You mentioned earlier years when you were 14. Yeah, earlier years. But uh, 
Uh, I, I never did go to uh, uh, proper, say, to uni to study uh, art. Yeah, I, so did you I, have any, any other sort of like teachers or? Yeah, I like did. That? Yeah, I did. I, I went to the um, to the classes, uh, but they were not um, uh, like uh, um, like uh, school. They were uh, private classes and so on. For instance, in the Subotica, uh, one teacher was very good. Uh, he was uh, um, uh, Stefan Jenovac, uh, and uh, in the Belgrade, I used to live in the Belgrade a lot. Uh, a lot of years, I went in a school there, yeah. tried school, and uh, uh, an artist Costa Bradic, he is influence, was influenced on me, uh, he was holding the classes, and I attend those classes. Yeah. Uh, he still lives, I, uh, I think, in, a, in a Belgrade. Yeah. yeah, he was the one who influences me uh, you know, to, uh, especially portraits and so on. Mm -hmm. yeah. What would you call your style, your art style? Oh, I would call my style... Uh, I, I would like to call myself the Impressionist, but it uh, would be more realism than uh, yeah, realist. Yeah. What type of materials do you use? Uh, I, use uh, I use all mediums, practically, except uh, acrylic. I don't use acrylic. I, I use oils, um, watercolour, uh, soft pastels. Um, yeah, but um, uh, ink and moss and so on. Okay. Do you work on one picture at a time or multiple pictures? No, no, one picture at a time, yeah. Mm -hmm. How long does it take to complete a work of art on average? <laughs> it depends, you see. Um, it depends. I never actually. I never count uh, my time. Yeah. But it uh, uh, depends. For instance, watercolour is quick. Uh, I would say quick job because in the watercolour. For example, could you finish something in a day or? Uh, yeah, yeah, I can finish in, in one day. Yeah. yeah. See, uh, 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 if I got a portrait, uh, I would say I could finish in two weeks. Uh, yeah, if it's uh, sittings uh, going, yeah, yep. two weeks. So, how do you know when a work is finished? Oh, when I'm fed up, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't add anything more. <laughs> Couldn't add anything more, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, does your art carry a message? Uh, no, no, not really, but uh, I'm... Uh, uh, I'm obeying the rules you have to in art, you know, as far as the composition is concerned and uh, uh, obvious and important, you, you are not allowed to go uh, wrong with the proportions and everything else. Yeah. You know, but uh, uh, message, uh, no, it's uh, uh, mainly I do art for, for my own satisfaction. Yeah. Because I'm not a professional uh, artist. Uh, See, I never, uh, probably I should be, but I never happens. My father used to say uh, always to me before I, I went to try to learn, I, uh, because I finished as model maker, um, I finished trial school in the Belgrade, and uh, he used to say, uh, remember that most of the artists they died from hunger, you know, and probably. <laughs> Yeah, that was uh, scaring me off a little bit, you know, because in the trial it was uh, secure money. So what kind of trial school did you go to? Uh, uh, industrial trial uh, school, three years I finished, uh, mo uh, model maker, yeah. uh, making models for uh, foundries, like engine. Oh, okay. Running, uh, yeah. That's a magnificent uh, horse that you made there. This book behind you. We'll have a bit look at that a bit later, but that's yeah. really fantastic. Yeah, yeah, I made that too. Yeah, yeah congratulations, for, man. That's great. For, uh, for one for Daniel, one for Patricia. What inspires you to paint, and yeah. how do you get into these inspirations? Uh, when I see something interesting, see, and uh, I uh, find. 
in a painting I find uh, relaxation. relaxation. Yeah. Yeah. So do you paint mostly at home or do you paint elsewhere? Or? In, uh, mostly at home, yeah. Mostly at home. Yeah. Uh, Sometimes I did uh, go to the uh, sea and paint sea scenes up there. Um, in, in the same time, doing some crabbing and so on. Yep. Yeah, but uh, mostly at home, yeah. Is your personality part of the artworks that you paint? Do you yeah. see your personality come through there? I don't know. I can't answer that. Right. It's just more inspiration than what you see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Of the artworks that you have painted, uh, which yeah. one is your favourite one? Which one did you like the best so far? So far, yeah, oh, it's very hard. I did so many of them, but uh, um, uh, I have, in the moment, I've uh, got this, this one uh, behind me. I like that. I like that as a soft pasta. So, this is a dust, dust storm in uh, Central Australia? Yeah. And you got the idea from where did you get the idea from? From the news. Uh, because I saw in that on the news, dust storm coming. Yeah. Uh, that made you. But. Uh, uh, oils, uh, in oils, um, I could uh, hardly say, I, got a, uh, uh, I used to use knife uh, to, uh, for punching in early stages. I have one... Uh, what do you do with the knife? Punching. With a knife? With a knife, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. I got one here, Daniel, he can, uh, you will see later on. Uh, yeah, yeah. Daniel, you can show. That's an interesting technique. I did it with a knife uh, one country, yeah, close to me on one of you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, but uh, favorite one, uh, I did some portraits, which they were, I was very happy with it. I did my wife uh, portrait, which I'm happy. Uh, I, I, I think uh, my portraits uh, give me more satisfaction than uh, anything else, I suppose. Of course, in the Slovenian Club in Adelaide, you have a nice, a beautiful painting hanging there in the members' yeah, room. Yeah. Uh, and also, you did the one on the stage at the back of. Uh, yeah, oh, oh, that was Daniel too. Well, together. Yeah, Daniel yes. and yourself. Yeah. Yeah, at the Daniel. back of the stage. That's really great. The stage, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but, but that one, uh, actually, uh, one, uh, one friend which was born there at Blade. He says, uh, not to brag about, but he says that was the best blade painting he ever saw in his life. Yeah, yeah, I well, agree, it's fantastic. Yeah, yeah he's standing there for so many years, 20 years already. 20 years. Yeah. Whew. How has your artwork changed since you first began painting over the years? How do you think you've changed? Uh, uh, didn't change much except uh, uh, I paint more uh, uh, using more free, uh, thicker, thicker and free paint. Uh, yeah. I don't wear so many details like I used to have before. How do you feel when people interpret your artwork differently than you do, or how you see it? Mm -hmm. well, not, I didn't hear many. Uh, you know, different opinions, but uh, uh, I, I, if it's any critique, I took uh, honestly, you know. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, most of my paintings are not sold. So it's, if if you paint uh, something, you say, "Oh, this is my vision of this painting," and somebody else looks sees it from a different point of view, do you sometimes get that? Um, uh, no, no, not really, because right. my, my paintings are real, uh, more realistic. You yeah, know, yeah. So. Okay. Where have your artworks been on display? Oh, I did have many exhibitions, uh, group exhibitions mainly. Uh, I did have a, uh, a few years ago uh, one, uh, one uh, solo exhibition in the Port Vincent. Mm -hmm. I did have one exhibition in Barry. And I did have a lot of uh, group exhibition with the Polish, uh, Polish Australian Polish Art Society. And uh, that's because your your wife is Polish, so you connected yeah, that that's way. Right. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I'm very connection with them. Yeah. Because uh, again, I, I speak uh, good Polish. Yeah. And uh, 
Uh, now I'm a member of uh, Aurora Society of Art and uh, probably I will exhibit there mm -hmm. on occasions. Yeah, but, uh, in Slovenia uh, I did uh, actually have an exhibition of my paintings on the first exhibition uh, in, uh, of uh, artists which are living outside Slovenia. I did have a uh, painting there. Okay, when was that? Oh, that was about 20 years ago. Uh, I was actually in, in uh, Cinerator to have an exhibition uh, when president of uh, Matica, Isilinska Matica, uh, came here in our club, in the old club. In Heimarsch? Still on Heimarsch. Yep. Uh, I suggest to him that it uh, would be nice to organize exhibition uh, for artists which are living out of Slovenia. And that's what he did. And you took part of that? Yeah, I took part of that, yeah. Do you have any on display at the moment, anywhere, any exhibitions? Uh, no, 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 not in the moment. Okay. Do you sell your artwork? Yeah, I do, but very seldom. Very seldom. Yeah, I'm, mostly I do for friends and so on. So what kind of people buy that have bought your artwork? What kind of people are they? You know, what age group are they? Uh, my age group. Have you won any competitions for your artwork? Yeah, I did. When I, I mentioned that in the beginning, when I was young in Subotica, I won um, uh, first prize in a drawing. Yeah. Um, Chaco. Uh, yeah, Chaco drawing. That was a good one. Yeah. And I, I, I remember that uh, that I got money for that uh, two and a half uh, thousand dinars. And my father used to earn two and a half thousand dinars in one month. Oh. That means it was uh, good money, yeah. That was really good encouragement, you, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. I didn't see any of it. <laughs> oh, where'd the guy? My mother took it. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. <laughs> yeah. What's the worst thing about being an artist? The mm. uh, worst thing, well, what do you mean by that? Uh, I think that. Uh, the worst thing uh, it's uh, that uh, it's somehow um, accustomed that people don't take serious artists. And that's very wrong uh, uh, perception you know what I mean? uh, of people uh, because uh, artists are so, uh, many of them so talented people with uh, such a uh, great abilities, you know, which not many, not everybody can do, like, you know, and uh, they're still not, many times, not taking serious. Is that more case here in Australia than, say, in Europe? Um, here in Australia, yeah. yeah. It's more here in Australia. Because I hear, like, uh, a lot of musicians go from Australia to Europe because they say the culture is more developed and more appreciated over there than it is here. Yeah, in, uh, yeah it is, yeah. In, uh, it's a big difference. Uh, in Europe, for instance, uh, uh, especially artists with a degree, it's uh, classified as uh, professional, same as a uh, doctor or anybody else, but not here, uh, in Australia, no. Mm, yeah. And what's the best thing about being an artist? Uh, best thing being an artist, mm. like I say, uh, because it uh, means better satisfaction and uh, relaxation of doing that. I suppose yeah. would be. I can't uh, talk for uh, uh, professionals. Maybe they are under, under a different pressure than pressure than I am. You know, but uh, that's what it is. I have a satisfaction of from art. Yeah. Is there some kind of spiritual connection between art, artists, and drawing? Uh, I wouldn't say so. No, I wouldn't say uh, no. Yeah, because uh, it's only to do with the talent. You know, it's in the DNA or whatever you call it. You know, it's in a, It's definitely in a line. In a, in a DNA. Tom, how long did it take you to make this magnificent horse? Yeah, about one month. One month? Yeah. Uh, what inspired you to make this horse? Oh, I, 
just uh, been once uh, on a show. Uh, what, the Raw show? Uh, or or what? A Raw show, and uh, somebody was uh, uh, making them there. Yep. And, um, and I decided to uh, do it myself. I bought the actually. Um, Sketches, you no know, patterns, and yep. I cut them. Uh, but obviously, I uh, redesign on my uh, yep. because that the head, for instance, it uh, twisted on one side like horse. Uh, oh yes. Horse does. Uh, yes, and those eyes, they are actually carved, aren't they? Yeah, they are. They are wood. Yeah, they are cut, cut out, carved out, and painted with the uh, oil paints. Yeah. With the artist oil paints. Yeah. And this is artist oil paints. <laughs> That's not only <all> the paint. <laughs> so what's what's the horse made out of? Wood. Yeah. Any what, any particular type of wood? Or uh, any particular type? Is it is name on it uh, from, from uh, wood? Soft wood. Soft wood. Soft wood. Yeah. 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 That's fantastic. And real horse hair. Thank you. And real horse hair. Real horse hair, is it? Yeah, yeah, that's real horse hair. Yeah. Yeah, yeah great artistry. Yeah. Uh, Tom, well, you've been president of Slovenian Club Adelaide. Yeah, twice. You, twice, yeah. When you were president, what were your objectives? What did you try to achieve when you were president? Uh, Mainly was to keep uh, Slovenian community together and uh, to keep uh, going uh, Slovenian club for uh, because that was a place which uh, was the best for Slovenian community. I mean, everybody came every weekend there, and you know, like even today, the club uh, yesterday was Mother's Day was full, and um, that was my objective. And, uh, was not in, in, in none of our of the objective in it. Yeah, why is it important to maintain a Slovenian community? Um, it's uh, important, for instance, uh, uh, mainly uh, I was disappointed uh, uh, because there's uh, not enough young people involved in the Slovenian club. But uh, uh, I thought uh, it's important to. Um, keep the Slovenian culture, language, especially language and the culture uh, alive. Because uh, uh, even yesterday one uh, boy from Silvana, uh, uh, he, uh, he was uh, reading uh, in the Slovenian language and it's nice to see a uh, uh, younger generation to speak. That's what keeps Slovenian language and the culture going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what are your views on attracting the younger generation? Um, uh, I reckon uh, uh, mostly parents. Uh, another way we were completely different uh, here in the Slovenian club. We, uh, for instance, we were uh, much to attract for uh, younger, young generation. Because we were uh, probably uh, pork is there or whatever, I, I, I don't know. But we have got a sport except uh, a boche, that's for older people, not for the young ones. But uh, I, I, I thought it was uh, uh, parents, uh, it's a responsibility to keep uh, 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 children in, uh, in connected uh, to Slovenian culture and language. Mm -hmm. Same as my did. I used to live in Croatia, and uh, but language was spoken Slovenian in the house all the time. And uh, I thought, uh, I thought Slovenian that's what uh, language that's what uh, language gives the character of the one nation. Mm -hmm. Bocha, you're involved with Bocha. Yeah, I'm still organizing Bocha. Yeah. So how long have you been doing that? Oh, for 25 years. So. Yeah. So, what you organise um, like competitions? Competitions, yeah, competitions. Yeah, what, what, once a month or so, is it? Once a month now, yeah. Before it used to be uh, 
or twice a month or three times a month. Yeah. But now once a month, uh, we are uh, less and less. Because it's the older generation of the plane. Older generation, uh, hip replacement, uh, knees, <laughs> and everything else does. Yeah. And uh, so the botcher, that's um, it's very good to keep active. Oh, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm looking forward still. I'm happy that I can, I'm lucky that I can still do it. So, what's your best score in botcher? Uh, uh, I didn't count, but uh, I won a lot of trophies, yeah. Wow, fantastic. Okay, Tom, thank you very much. That's all right. Thank you very much.